Hey what's up guys welcome to Liar Tips first of all i am so sorry guys that i couldn't upload some videos for a week i was working on some other projects so i had to give my full time to that now that project is completed and now i can record and upload videos so from today onwards i'll be uploading videos regularly but not on a daily basis but on a weekly basis maybe two videos on a week so again guys sorry for that so now without any further ado let's begin so in our previous video we showed a list of these categories and we refactored this table component to show this previous and a next which is a pagination and also whenever there is no data we showed no data available and now in this video we'll be deleting the article so whenever we click on this delete and we click on this delete it will delete the article so let's go to the article controller for that so here if you go here in the delete section so these are all the codes that we copied from categories controller so let's refactor this so let's say here article and here also let's say article and here also let's say articles but an article will also have an image but we haven't done the creating of the article yet so after doing that we'll be deleting an image so we'll be making a method in the article article delete image like this and will be handling that delete image in this section and later on we'll be extracting the image related logic into its own trait so if you don't know about trait it is just like composition api in the javascript we can compose some of the codes and we can reuse that in several part of our classes since the multiple inheritance is not supported in php we can make use of the traits to kind of accomplish the multiple inheritance so for now let me just remove this and whenever we do the creating and editing of the articles we will be implementing that feature so let's say here implement the image part like this okay now here so the articles list is this first one the omnis and now if i click on the delete and let me also open the console and if i click on delete so you can see here the article deleted successfully message and that article is also gone so now we have successfully removed that article so let's try this one as well so let me click on this and before this let me remove this one and when i click on this and click on this so you can see here the ipsa one is also gone ipsa one and we are showing this message as well and I also think that we need to hide this message after a certain period of time. It will be a minute or two minutes video. So let's do that in the next video. It will be just related to that portion. So let's do only this for this video guys. And I'll be uploading the next video in the coming two or three days. And in that video we'll be doing creating and editing of the articles. So all the creating and editing of these articles is also similar to that of the categories. But in the articles, we'll have one image extra section and there will be category ID where we'll be showing a list of categories and we'll be selecting a category and storing the ID of the category in the articles table. So it's only that part is different. Also, whenever we edit an article, there will be the image field so we can update that image also. If someone updates that image, then we'll be removing the previous image and uploading that new image. So that will be new in this articles create and update so we'll be covering that in our next video so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye